My name is Dr. Srikanth Mandayam. I'm the Chair of Electrical and Computer Engineering in the College of Engineering at Rowan University. Hi, I'm George Lee Cakes. I am a master's student here at the Electrical and Computer Engineering at Rowan University. And I am sitting in front of the CAVE Automatic Virtual Reality Environment. It is known by the recursive acronym CAVE. CAVE is a three-dimensional, immersive, interactive, and navigable virtual reality environment. It is what you have behind us is a 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet cube in which a group of users can interact with three-dimensional objects inside of virtual reality. Our team is working on research projects that are sponsored by NASA's Tennis Space Center in Mississippi and the Naval Sea Systems Command in Philadelphia. I've been working on the NASA MTTP trailer demonstration for about the past four years. Two years undergrad work and two years now in my master's work. The cave was funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation. The location of the cave in the South Jersey Technology Park is exceptionally fortunate because it allows industry in the local area to gain access to cutting edge research and development technology. It allows us to train our students in these advanced technologies and add to the workforce, the high-tech workforce in the southern New Jersey and the greater Delaware region. This, this project basically revolves around modeling and visualizing a rocket engine test trailer, uh, a very simple one that they actually have down in Stennis Space Center. And what we've done is we've taken all the model information as well as the data from one of their test firings and we have combined that into one final visualization which you can see here. The cave is a tool for advanced scientific visualization and the opportunities for using it are limitless. Uh, we can use it for rapid prototyping, that means we can work with um, you know, uh, the aviation industry, the automobile industry to develop new kinds of aircraft or automobiles. Uh, we can work with the building and construction industry to simulate the design and operation of buildings. Uh, we can work with uh, cities uh, in, in the region and we, are a we will shortly be able to simulate and model an entire city. Now that we have a cave system here, the actual applications we can use are pretty much endless. As a graduate student, being able to work with the cave allows me to enter into an area that very few other people actually have. Uh, there aren't many caves uh, around, period, in the entire country or around the world. So actually being able to utilize this kind of technology provides me with very specialized uh, information, basically, or very specialized discipline, if I will, uh, that not many people deal with. You've, people all over deal with computer graphics or virtual reality. However, combining all that into one platform here is uh, something that's actually pretty rare. And we now have an opportunity for undergraduate students working with graduate students inside a cave virtual reality environment on projects that are of national importance. Mm -hmm.